wonder no one will work for you. My man is missing, and you're all just here, what? Waiting for him to wander back through the gate? Mr. Halftown, we are trying. But we don't have the manpower. And now half my crew thinks your little band of convicts is just waiting to drag us off and scrap us for organs. Mr. Halftown, our security officer has been put into the infirmary trying to find your worker. We're doing everything we can. All I ask is that you and your crew be patient. You have nothing to fear from us convicts. We are handling it. Then get it done. Or else we are going to have problems. You have my word. I'm sorry, love, but the Elios retreat isn't taking new residents right now. We've had some issues. A missing person chief among them. But you're welcome to rest up and refuel here as long as you'd like. So long as there's no bounty hunter after you that's going to kick my brand new door off its hinges. Not yet. But it's certainly a risk, given the retreat's intended line of business. But I'm not about to send anyone packing who might just need a place to collect themselves. Well, at the moment, it's primarily a collection of shipping containers and unused construction materials. But the plan is to make this place into a growth and education residence for the galaxies incarcerated. We'll offer job training and a support network for folks that otherwise just while away their days in prison just because they didn't have the credits to pay their own bounties. Get them all the tools they need to set up regular, boring lives like the rest of us. Well, thank you. Always striving to make my presence in the universe a net positive but still got a lot of ground to cover. But I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to listen to me blabber. You're probably exhausted. Monica should have any supplies you might need. She's just out front of the main building, and our ship services tech is out near the landing pad if your vessel needs some tending to. And if you need anything else, or just want to talk, you come find me. That the truth? Because I can't say it's going to be easy work. But if you found the construction crew's missing man, we'd all owe you. Well, he was last seen a few days ago, so we don't think he could have gotten far. We sent our lone security officer to find him, but things didn't go according to plan out there, and now he's taken up residence in our infirmary. So if you're offering, we'll absolutely take the help. You don't know how happy I am to hear it. First things first, you want to speak to Greg D'Angelo, our security officer. He was wounded searching for our worker, Mr. Kilman's trail. He should be able to get you pointed toward Kilman's last known location. Who are you? Can't the guy heal in peace? Sloan found someone else, huh? Well, hopefully, uh, you'll have better luck than I did. I managed to turn up some tracks outside the facility. Bit of a hike, though. Not sure if they were Kilmans, but Ixel's not exactly a bustling metropolis. There was a cave system I scanned nearby, but I got attacked before I could look any further. Next place I was planning to visit once I was on my feet again. I'd start there. Well, I suppose we'll see something at long last. You dropping off? Didn't think we had any deliveries until next week. Got an invoice I can look at? Oh. 
Oh. Don't get many visitors this far out. Not a lot to see at the moment, but once we're open, the hope is to have plenty on offer. Imports from around the galaxy, stuff made by our residents. Happy to let you peruse what we've already got in. Mostly just the basics at this point, though. Hand selected by yours truly. The construction foreman, Half Town, and his crew are scrambling their undergarments because one of their guys wandered off the other night. Probably a little too much glug glug. But now the entire construction crew thinks we're going to slit their throats just because most of us have a criminal past. But look, if you want to get involved, Sloane's been coordinating the manhunt. She'll have all the info you might need. Mm-hmm. Most of the staff here are. Got me for digital intrusion and grand larceny. Was in a bad place. Needed a lot of funds. Fast. So I hacked a couple of Galbank servers. Had maybe six years left on my sentence in Aquila when Sloane and Nevin swooped in. They said they'd pay off my whole bounty if I ran through their pilot program. I didn't have much else going on, so I said sure. It was hard work, but Sloane. The woman is compassion in human form. She stuck with me. And now I'm here, running the retreat shop, and maybe someday one of my own. Sure did. Anyone who commits to joining the program gets their bounty paid off by the retreat. Not sure who's footing the bill, though. I presume it's coming from outside donations, because Sloan and Nevin aren't exactly rolling in cred sticks. Take care now. I'm not going back. Stay away. Oh God, please, please don't put me back in the bag. I'll do whatever you say, just please, not the bag. You, you are? Oh, thank God. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. You, you do know the way back, right?
There's a face I never expected to see again. Killman! Killman's back! Mother of God, kid. What happened? I was walking out, and someone threw a bag over my head. They took me... I don't know. It smelled like the inside of the first aid kit. I had to sleep on a steel floor and... Which one of you crooks bagged him, huh? Us? Why the hell would we do that? Waste of a perfectly good bag. You're rambling, kid. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. You smell like used welder's gear. Mr. Halftown, I have some medical training. I'd be happy to... You stay away from me. I want whoever kidnapped my man found and dealt with, understand? I don't care if it's one of your people or mine or a fucking ghost. Find them. Of course. We'll do what we can. But... I'm not interested in excuses. I need to know who did this. Just find my man's kidnapper now. Ah, I, I guess it might have been a bit naive for me to hope for a happy reconciliation, but you brought him back safe. That's what's important. Here, you have my sincerest thanks. But now, we've got a whole new thread to pull on. What are the chances I'd be able to convince you to help us find our kidnapper? Thank the heavens. So, we just need to figure out where we're sending you. Now, Mr. Kilman didn't seem to have a lot of information, but I caught at least one or two bits I think could help us find our kidnapper. That's right. Not a lot of proper facilities like that in the area. Which makes me think... There is a building we were evaluating as a possible site for the retreat not far from here. An old research outpost. Seems like a decent match for the description of our kidnapper's hideaway. Here, the facility's coordinates. Head out there and see what you can find.
You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm. Not a lot to go on. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names, but there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. It's really not that impressive. Used to sell these on the semi-regular in my old life. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's computer hacker 101 stuff. And it sure doesn't explain why they've decided to harass us. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? I'm certain we can find a way to solve this without resorting to violence. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on them and send them to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. I think there's a clear way to solve I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Take care, please. Are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen, unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios. 
put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. That's so. We haven't really made a lot of headway. We have been out here a while. Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just, the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. Tower's closed. Come back some other time. Hmm. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one. You're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two. You decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up. And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. 
But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I bet they are. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? It's something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanity's tried plenty of bad ideas. Throwing them in jail and forgetting about them. The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov, and left them to their own devices. Well, those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment. Took over the colony, and now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Next, we tried making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. You make lots of friends in my position. Friends in the Free Star Collective. Friends in the UC. The sort of people with influence over things. Like, say, how much a locality is allowed to spend on Alliance contracts each quarter. When the Alliance heads grasp that it's better for us all to be friends, I expect they'll leave the retreat well enough alone. That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. Just here for security. Please move. I don't know how much I miss the sound of power tools. Just happening through our neck of the woods, stranger? Nevin told me about your summons. Our, uh, donor wasn't too hard on you, I hope. It's something she had asked for. She doesn't want her firm's reputation and ours to affect one another. But I'm mostly just curious how things went. She can be a hammer when the situation requires, but this project holds a pretty special place in her heart, so I'm sure she was feeling grateful. Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing everything she can to upend the various roadblocks in our way. 
We're in the process of vetting more security, looking at some additional and more agreeable contractors. Whatever gets this place closer to becoming a reality. Opening still a ways off, but we'd be going nowhere if you hadn't wandered in. That's hard to say for certain. We're only just now in a place where we can actually assess how long everything's going to take. But with time, we'll get there. And that's thanks to you. That makes two of us. Thank you again, love. For you, our doors will always be open. <laughs>